I want to take you guys through how to use Google Fonts in your site. This is really pretty cool. It's a beta software, and it's something you guys can use on just about any site you want, and you don't need the font. As a matter of fact, if you go to code.google.com slash web fonts, you'll see the uh, address right up there, you'll see the different fonts that we have available here. Now, it's really pretty easy to use these. So you can use them on just about any standard web page. You can use them in a WordPress blog, you know, all sorts of places. Now, here's how we do it. If I come up to the font that I like, let me come to something that's a little bit crazy, like lobster. I'll click to embed lobster, and it takes me over to the, I guess you could say, the, the page that shows me what it looks like, the specimen. You can see all sorts of different information about this. We want to get the code. So if I click get the code, here's the way it works. You don't have to have the font. Matter of fact, Google is working in conjunction with another company to get this to work. And all you got to do is a couple things here to use this font. You have to link a style sheet from fonts.googleapi.com slash CSS. You got to link that to your page or pages, whatever you want to use this on. And then we've got to reference the font. So here's what I'll do. I'll copy this link. I'm going to go over to Dreamweaver. I got Dreamweaver open here. And I've got a page. Now, if you guys have a template, you'll put it in the template header. If you've got just a page you want to use it on, you'll go to the code for that page Go to the head tag, find that opening head tag, and put it right after. That's what they tell you to do. So just paste it right there. It's telling you to use, or it's telling, rather, the browser to go up to Google, find that stuff, and use the family called Lobster. All right, now I save my page. Here's what we wind up doing. I go back to Design View. I want to use it for this headline or heading right here. So this is an H1, if I look right down here. Now, you can use this font for the entire page, and there's a couple ways you can do this, but... If I, in Dreamweaver, you guys can use any program, text editor, whatever you want. I can either apply it to the whole body. I can apply it to anything I want. But I'm going to create a new style called H1. So I'll create a new rule. And I'll create a tag, H1. I'll put it in my style sheet, you guys. And you can type this directly in your style sheet if you want to. I'm just using the uh, dialog here. And here's what I'll do. Okay, If you're in Dreamweaver, I'm going to go back over to that page. I'm going to copy... The font family stuff. So you guys don't copy font family colon. Just copy where the quote starts to right before the semicolon. Now, if you're going to paste, if you're going to do this in your code, in the CSS code, you just copy the whole thing and paste it in there. But I'll copy that. So I'm going to go to edit copy. Go back to Dreamweaver and just paste it right there in font family. Okay, and that's it. So these are, you know, some generics here. So if Lobster doesn't work for some reason on an older browser, and I'll tell you guys about browsers in a second, it'll use Arial or, Sans or Serif rather. I'll click OK, and there we go. And now it's using Arial, that's fine, but I'll save the page, go look at it in, let's say, Firefox. Now I'll talk about the different browsers it's going to need or use, and look what you can do right there. There's there's the font. <laughs> Pretty cool, huh? So anybody that can get to the web, and they're going to your website, so they probably can get to the web, can typically do this. Now, let me go back over to the Google area here, and you guys are going to see that there's a lot of stuff we can do with this. A lot of stuff. I mean, this is just skimming the surface. Let me go back to font list. And I want to show you guys something else here, too, which is kind of cool. You're going to see these are all the fonts, obviously. Some of these have variants. Variants include, let me click on Nobile here, or Noble, whatever you call it. Include things like uh, bold, italic, compressed, or condensed, things like that. So you've got some options for a few of these. Let me click back to font list up here. Now, I want to come down here to the quick start guide. Let me show you this real quick. This is pretty cool. There's a link here. One other thing you guys can do using this, and this is supported in most newer browsers, is to use text shadow on it. So this is a CSS3, uh, I guess you could say property, that we can use. So I'm going to copy this text shadow, and we can change it. I'll tell you about it in a second here. Hold on. I'll go back over to my style. Now, i got to do this in the code, you guys. So I'm going to come over to H1 here on the right. Right-click on it or Control-click on Mac, go to Code. It'll show it to me in the CSS over here, and it's obviously not showing to me. There it is. And what I'll do is I'll just hit a Return and paste it there. Now, the way the text shadow works, and like I said, this is a CSS3 uh, property, you've got two here for offset. These two values are for the offset away from the text, and this one's the blur, how blurry it is. So if you were not to include this third one, it would be a hard shadow. And this is the color of the shadow. So I'll save this. We'll take a look at it in the browser. Dreamweaver will not preview this. So I'll preview in Firefox or Internet Explorer. Let me go back out. And there we go. There's my shadow. Pretty cool, huh? Now, a couple little things here to mention. I guess you could say this is probably... Uh, 
it probably brings up more questions than anything, but I want to show you something here. There are a lot of other things we can do with this, but I'm going to go to the fact page, frequently asked question, and they have a question up here, what browsers are supported? I'm going to click on that right here, and you guys can see all the different browsers supported. Check this out for Internet Explorer, version 6 and above. This is cool, you guys. This is really cool. There's a lot of things we can do with this. This is an API, which means there's a lot of other things we can get get done here, but and a lot of different ways to get this to work. Um, but I, from what I've seen, that's probably the simplest way to do this. So there's a lot of companies out there doing stuff like this. Uh, this is free. It's Google. I mean, they you know they're a huge name, obviously, and you guys can do just about anything you want with it. But that's it. That's using the Google fonts. Like I said, you can use it for an entire page. You can use it for a heading. You can use it across your entire site. Use it on a WordPress blog, you know, all different kinds of blogs, whatever you guys feel like you can do. So pretty cool.